All right. Okay, so this is the fifth fucking time I tried to make this video. Now, it's either going to be a video on territorial aggression, how to deal with it, or it's going to be my last will and testament before I murder suicide my entire family. So let's hope it works. Um, anyway, I'll spare Alki because he's a wonder boy and he reminds me of Tom Brady, so perfect. Um, the rest of them are fucked though. Anyway, I'm optimistic. So, how to deal with territorial aggression. This is a very important video I have to make because I have two clients right now who have dogs with territorial issues. So, I'm gonna demonstrate with Alki. It's very simple. Have your dog master place first. Best way to bomb proof place is e-collar condition your dog and then just use the e-collar. Uh, if you have someone coming in and it's best to practice this beforehand quite a bit, as much as possible, tie the dog off He's on place, I connect the tie off leash to the e-collar, then I'll have like a little tab on him. Um, if the dog gets off, correct him, put him back on. Now, worst case scenario, even if the dog gets back off and, and doesn't get back on, you're all the way at the door, the dog, if he's really psycho, he can't get to the guest, okay? Pretty easy stuff, but I wanna demonstrate how to do it. The other important thing is correct barking. Don't wait for the dog to be going ballistic to correct and be very assertive about this if you're dealing with territorial issues with your dog. Dogs, they bark, then they lunge, then they bite. All right, so we're gonna practice this with Kat. She's, um, Kat, how are you feeling about this? You feeling better? Okay, I'm, I'm not. Uh, so Kat's gonna go outside, ring the doorbell, knock on it. I'm gonna go back there, hide, then she'll come in. Um, We'll see, maybe we'll fool them. Then we're gonna do doorbell sounds from YouTube. Plug the sound in through my speakers. We'll play it a few times. Again, we're gonna correct the barking. Um, the other dog's probably gonna bark. He's probably gonna be an angel, because he's perfect, right, buddy? Um, okay, that's it. Cat, one second, go in the back. Go outside, and then 10 seconds, you come in, okay? Heel. Thank you, Cat. Oh, by the way, I got him on real low on this. Working level four, you know? That's enough. I'm just gonna tap it a few times if, if I have to. Come on, big guy. Let's go. so he can't get too far. That way he can't answer the door. The best way to do this is with another person though. Sit down, pretend like I'm distracted. Holy shit, you good boy. By the way, <laughs> nope, quiet down buddy. That's better, nope, place. No touch, no talk, no eye contact, all right? I would position the placement a little differently, but I want you to be able to see it. I put it further over there, I guess it come and sit down. I'd be like, just ignore the dog. And that'll be the rule for some dogs forever, for other dogs, um, just for a little bit, you know, after training or during training. Good boy. Now, what I would do is I would keep a dog that's had serious issues with this for at least a month after board and train where it's, uh, no contact with visitors. Just have them observe. And a better way to start than this is actually in the kennel, because it's, it's less confrontational. So correct the barking in the kennel, then you can bring them out, put them on a placement, and just observe. And then from there, you would go to, he's, he's fine, he loves cat. With a dog like this, will probably need five, ten minutes max to just observe, make sure everyone's cool. And then I would just do, okay, go say hi. Who's that? Is that your friend? What did you, did you print? Oh, you're goofy. You make goofy faces. It's a good boy. Good boy. 
All right, you're, you're, that's just, that's it, Kat, you're good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Jazzy pants. Okay, buddy. Place? That's it. Nope, place. Nope, place. Good boy. Okay. Last thing, I'm going to put this up one. Right up to six. Or a tough boy. Here's the world, right, buddy? Okay. So we'll put it up to six, and now we'll do the doorbell sounds from YouTube. This is very, very easy. You can practice this daily. Oh, of course, the fucking computer's dead. Like, imagine. What is. Well, Al Kai, you're not going to get murder suicide, but Cat is. Dewey definitely is. Moose and Willie have had tough lives, so we might give them a pass. And Elvis definitely is, because he's evil. He's been put down a long time ago. Okay, doorbell sounds. YouTube. Just YouTube it. Very easy. Boy, you're habituating him to the sound of the door. It's not like, woo! Oh my god! <gasps> you know, nope, quiet down. That's better. Good boy. Just relax. Good boy. Good place. Good choice. Good boy. So he doesn't flip up. Praise him. Very easy. Play this too well. Joey, <laughs> relax. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good. Let them know, man. They face triggers and they do a good job. Let really blow them up in praise. Good job, buddy. Mm, you're too sweet. All right, that's enough. We don't have to beat the shit out of this one. Okie dokie, that's it. Territorial aggression, your rules. Kennel, you know, placemat, tie the dog off. Practice with YouTube sounds daily. Um, and the other thing is, don't put yourself in over your head, okay? So if you feel like the dog or you can't handle a particular situation, tap out, just kennel the dog, all right? Um, they can in music, them. you're basically having a conversation. What the fuck? <laughs> It's a quest. <laughs> the universe doesn't want me to make this video. Um, but tap out, don't put yourself in a bad spot, or the dog, where they're, where they're gonna fuck up. You get too much going on, just kennel them. That's what the kennel's there for, is when you don't have time to really attend to the dog, all right? Uh, so when in doubt, kennel. That's probably your most important rule. All right, so I hope that helps. This, stu this is pretty simple, you know? You just gotta follow a few basic rules and be consistent with it and get them really good with place and the best way to bomb proof place is the e-collar big time because the timing's so perfect they make they really understand it and they know it's reliable okay that's it